Hello everyone, in this video I am going to tell you what are the four magical words in English and how you can use them so you avoid being taken as a rude person and being misunderstood while you are speaking in English. So if you'd like to know what are these words and how to use them, keep watching. So the first word is excuse me and there are different situations that you can use it. So for example, if you'd like to interrupt someone, you are at a store looking for something you cannot find, so you can talk with the salesperson, excuse me, where are the women's shoes? Excuse me, where are the women's shoes? At the same time, if you're just walking on the street, need some information, need some help, you can stop and talk with a stranger by saying, excuse me, where is the bus stop? Excuse me, where is the bus stop? So it's very important for you to start your sentence with excuse me, so the person know you're not being rude with them. A second usage of the word excuse me is if you need to leave a situation. So if by any chance you're having a dinner, you're eating with other people and you're done and you would like to leave the table, it's important for you to say excuse me. So you can say excuse me and then you leave the situation without being rude. At the same time, if you want to give an extra explanation, you can't. So, excuse me, I need to use the restroom. So, you're asking to be excused and telling why you need to go. Another use of excuse me is if you're wanting to get some attention. So, if you are in the middle of a party with some friends or if you are at a restaurant and you're trying to get the waiter, you can say, excuse me, excuse me. Make sure that you say loud enough if you want the attention and expect that everyone will turn to you because that's what happened when you use excuse me to try to get attention. First, you just say excuse me, you have the attention and then you continue to say what you want. The second magic word in English is sorry and you can say sorry if you did something wrong. So for example, sorry, I didn't call you back or I am sorry, I didn't call you back. You can also say sorry if you need someone to repeat something for you. So for example, I am sorry, can you repeat please? I am sorry, can you repeat please? And a third use of sorry is if you need to interrupt someone. So in the same situation, you are talking with some friends or a group of people, having some dinner, you say, I'm sorry, I need to go just like you would say, excuse me, I need to go. The third word is please, please. So you can use please when you ask someone to do something for you. So for example, can I see the menu please? Can I see the menu please? If you just say the sentence, can I see the menu? It is grammatically correct, it's good. But if you add please, you would be more polite and avoid the chance of being misunderstood. The waiter may talk, oh my gosh, that customer is really demanding, it's rude. So make sure you use please a lot. Another way that you can use the word please is to confirm that you need some help. So if you're at an airport carrying a bunch of luggages, someone may ask you, do you need any help with your luggages? Do you need any help with your luggages? You can say, yes, please. Yes, please. It is also a possibility for you to answer, yes, I do. Do you need any help with your luggages? Yes, I do. But once again, yes, please, it's a lot more polite. And another way that you can use please is when you're actually giving orders, but you do not want to be rude. So for example, a cabin crew at an airplane, they can say, passengers, please fasten your seat belt. Passengers, please fasten your seat belt. They are giving you orders, but it's for your own security. At the same time, a teacher may tell the students, please open your books on page 15. Please 
Open your books on page 15. So the teacher is giving orders. Let's go everyone, open the books, let's start our lesson, but she doesn't want to look rude. And the fourth word is thank you. So you use thank you when you recognize that someone did something for you. So if a waiter brings a Coke for you, here is your Coke, thank you. At the same time, if someone offers you something, it is very polite for you to use thank you. Either you want it, you accept, or you do not, you deny. So, if I ask you, would you like something to drink? Would you like something to drink? You can say, yes, thank you. Or you could also say, yes, please. But if you do not want, go ahead and say, no, thank you. It's in a way of saying, no, I do not want it, but thank you for offering. You can also extend your answer this way, no, I don't, thanks for offering. But make sure you use the thank you. So every time you use the word thank you, you may hear your welcome back. So let's go to our waiter situation. Here is your Coke. Thank you. You're welcome. So he will say it back to you. You're welcome. Thank you so much for watching this video. Those were the four magic words in English and I would love to hear from you. Did you know these words? Did you know how many different ways of using thank you, sorry, please, excuse me, there are. Let me know here in the comments and make sure you subscribe to this channel. There are so many more videos coming soon. I will see you later. Bye-bye.